Hi guys, one of the main functions of government in my opinion is to look after the health and education of its citizens. That is why I fully support a public healthcare system over a private one and state schools over for-profit ones. But while I believe many people will agree with me on this, at a certain level it seems government is capable of ignoring its responsibilities when we drill down to providing certain needs children in particular require in order to function in education. Free School Meals campaigner and chef Jamie Oliver travelled to a school in London with the Today programme where they spoke to parents and teachers about the importance of this. Tory Minister Gillian Keegan was also contacted for her response. Have a listen. I can't imagine that anybody would disagree with feeding children. It is not their fault where they've been born, it's not their fault, that whole kind of postcode lottery. So I can't imagine anybody having a problem with feeding children. I guess, Jamie, the issue is this, isn't it? There are choices to be made and there may be a politician thinking, well, in this area, it's a pretty poor area in London, of course. You want to give people meals, but there are plenty of kids in perfectly prosperous areas. Maybe that's money you should spend on books instead or playgrounds and so on. So there are choices that people are making. Yeah, and I think that's why, for myself and other campaigners, we have obviously been prioritising the gap between the free school lunch kids and then the kids, which I think you quite eloquently put, the working poor. Maybe sort of defined as in the people within that boundary of the universal credit stretch. But that's 800,000 kids that we believe are vulnerable. It's interesting because there are parents who would say, no, no, it's the job of parents to feed kids. It's not the job of the state or the council or the school. They think, actually, almost as a moral point of view, that is what bringing children into the world is. You've got to, to feed them. Yeah, I mean, interesting, if you look back in history, when school lunches was created, it was to get the kids in school because they were up chimneys and down mines and you know school dinners was created to get kids in school what's interesting for me is from an emotional point of view like this is the right thing to do as a chef i know that an incredible service can be given across the country if we can get those uptake numbers in the 70s and 80 percent like you've got here you know you can afford to do the fridge up you can have the hours for the cooks like what can be provided can be extraordinary something about this is which really upsets me is this idea that well it's it's up to the job of parents to feed their children but there are parents who are struggling at the moment because of the cost of living crisis there are parents who are working who are on universal credit who are relying on food banks inflation is outstripping wages so you can't blame these parents for not being able to provide food for for their children. This is a stupid argument that I continually hear. Well, it's the responsibility, it's not the responsibility of government. Government creates policies. These policies have an impact. And the impact at the moment with the current policies and 12 years of, of Tory rule and a number of years of austerity have meant that people who are working are relying on benefits as well. And food banks and free school meals at, at, in these schools as well. So my name's Christina, I work in the nursery. I'm a nursery TA. My child comes here, she's in year three, so she's eight years old. And for you, how difficult is it if you've got to pay for school meals? I mean, things are really tight. Sometimes I'm a little bit behind with payments, so I have to wait until payday, which makes me in arrears quite often. Um, usually a month, it's about £60. That £60 a month that you're yeah. spending on school meals, that forces you to make other choices. 100%, yeah. So we cut down on food, or we tend to not use as much gas at home, so that obviously at the end of the month, I can pay for her dinners so that she can have a hot meal. You're having to have less food at home yeah. in order to pay for her to yeah. have food here? Yeah. Portion-wise, we cut down a little bit. It's just me and her. I'm a single mum. So it is just us two trying to make things meet in the middle. So with this help, amazing. Big change for us. Council is saying that they'll pay for everybody to have a free school meal. You look relieved. Yes. <laughs> it takes a big pressure off my shoulders. Is this meal that your daughter gets here, mm. is that sometimes, frankly, the best meal she's going to have of the day? Possibly. Some weeks are better than others, but she enjoys the school meal. She doesn't want to go and pack lunch because I thought, well, I'll make her something easy, cheap at home. But now with the hot meals, she loves it. She looks forward to her dinners. <laughs> she does. 
Well, that was Jamie in a school in Westminster. We invited an education minister to come onto the programme this morning to discuss his call for more children to get free school meals. None was available. No ministers were available, of course, because it's embarrassing for the Conservatives to talk about free school meals because a lot of them, or I think almost all of them, voted against them. So they'll talk about, yeah, well, instead what they'll say is, well, we're spending 100, billion, 100 million here, a billion there. Um, we're lifting people out of poverty. We're increasing universal credit payments. But obviously it's not enough because parents are skipping meals, reducing portion sizes in order to feed their children. And the councils are picking up the slack here. This is the responsibility of central government. What is the point in, once again, what is the point in having a central government if it doesn't provide what's needed? Now, on another level, if children don't get fed properly, it impacts their development. It impacts their ability to learn. So you create, by cutting on these things, and look, you can talk about how much it's going to cost, but of course, when it comes to ordinary people, when it comes to people in general, it's called a cost. But when it comes to anything else, it's called an investment. This language has to change. You're investing in the future here. Providing children with meals makes them more, makes it easier for them to learn. It helps their development. If you don't, then you're going to damage their development and you're going to make it more difficult for them to learn. And what does that mean for the future? I understand party, political parties are only thinking about their time in office, the four or five years, whatever it is, that, uh, that they are in the House of Commons or as an MP until the next election. But this is about the future generations. If you're not investing in them, it's a crime. I can't think of another way to describe it. And the fact that ministers won't bother to come on shows how much contempt they have for the public. It shouldn't, it shouldn't come down to how much is it going to cost. I said before, the government can, can spend money as they want. We saw it during the, the pandemic where PPE contracts were given out to people willy-nilly. Actually, maybe it wasn't willy-nilly, it was to our donors and our friends. Billions were wasted on a test and trace system that was not fit for purpose. None of that money was clawed back. And now, when it comes to something like free school meals, you have to, it's all a number of questions have to be asked. Oh, how much is it going to cost? Who should receive it? It should be universal. Doesn't matter if rich children get it. It takes away the stigma for the poorer children. If it's universal, you're not going to miss anyone. Yes, there will be a loss there, but it's better to lose a little bit than miss people. I think people are more important than a few quid lost. It's disgraceful. It shouldn't have to be like this. These children need these meals. They're, it's needed for them morally and it's needed for their development. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.